In this short video, I'm going to show you how to solve a problem involving the segment addition postulate and some algebra. But before we get into that algebra problem, we need to make sure we understand what the segment addition postulate is. Basically, what it's stating is if we have a point that is in between uh, two other points, as we have here, B is in between A and C, then the distance from A to B plus the distance from B to C has to equal the distance from A to C. And we can also use that in reverse to prove that B is in between A and C because B is in between A and C if and only if those two smaller segments add up to the distance of the larger segment. Now here's a couple of examples using some numbers. Uh, we want to find the distance from D to F. And I think uh, as we can see, we know that E is, is in between those two points. And we should know that D to E, that distance, plus the distance from E to F should equal that full distance from D to F. And by adding those two numbers together, the 23 and the 35, we can find the distance from D to F, which is 58 units. We can also take this uh, in a reverse order. You know, if we know the full distance, like we do from F to H, we can use that full distance and the partial distance uh, that we know like this F to G distance to find what we're missing, uh, which is the distance from G to H. We know, first of all, from our postulate that the distance from F to G plus the distance from G to H is going to be equal to whatever that distance is from F to H. Plug in what we know into our basic equation and our word equation. And we know that 21 plus whatever G H is, is going to equal the 36. And I think most of us realize at this point that we can just take away the 21, which is the part we know, from the total 36. And that will give us the part that we're trying to find, which is the distance from G to H, which is 15. Same philosophy works when we deal with a problem with algebra. Now, this, this problem looks fairly complicated. We're going to solve for X here. And I know this can throw some of us off, especially if we're struggling with some algebra. But if we start with the basics that we know, the general postulate that we know, that segment addition postulate, um, we'll have a good basis for our uh, equation that we're going to create to solve for x. So we know by the postulate that if c is in between the points a and b in this problem, then the distance from a to c plus the distance from c to b it's going to equal that full distance from A to B. And if we start with that little word equation right there, then we can plug in the things that we know. We can create the equation that we need in order to solve for X. So we know that the distance from A to C is given to us as 3X plus 12. Just plug that in for the uh, AC in our original equation. We know that the distance from C to B is 2X. Plug that into our original equation. And we can substitute 62 because we know that the total from A to B has to be 62. So now we have a good basis to solve this problem. We've got all, uh, all of our variables on one side. And now we can just start uh, combining our like terms and then doing our uh, addition and subtraction and solving for X. So we're going to start with combining the like terms. We have all of our X values on this side of the equation. When we combine those, we can simplify this whole uh, side of the equation to 5x plus 12, and we know that that's going to still equal 62. Uh, our next step in the process then is to remove all of the numbers uh, one by one as much as we can from the side with the x's of our equation, the side of the equation with our x's. We have to start with the 12, so we have to remove the 12, subtract the 12 from both sides. And now that we're left with 5x is equal to 50, our last step in this process, since 5 is being multiplied to x, we use the inverse operation, divide both sides by 5, we'll find that x is equal to 10. So our x value should be equal to 10, and we want to definitely double check our work by plugging in the 10 into wherever we see x into our original equation. So we're going to plug 10 into that 3x plus 12 plus 12, 2x equals 62 equation. And when we do so, 3 times 10 is 30, plus 12, plus 2 times 10, which is 20. All of that, when we add it together, should equal 62, and it does. And now that we know that we have the correct answer for this problem. So again, 
just a recap start with the postulate write out a small sentence equation plug in your uh, variables wherever you see the uh, statement the segment and then you can uh, solve for x stay tuned for our next episode where we're going to solve some problems involving the distance the distance formula